Welcome to the uh, second video of my two-part series on how I set up PI. Um, this will be for the factory planet setup. Uh, pretty much the first one was just extractor planet, which was super fast. Uh, this is going to take a little bit longer because of how many bulk clicks that I have to make to make this happen. So we're making a coolant, um, and so we're going to take all of our P1, which is uh, being picked up between all my other characters and deposited at another location, my SMA. And uh, when my factory character gets around to it, he takes the P1 and transplants it on the factory planet, uh, which is then turned into P2 in the form of coolant. And then I export the coolant for ISKIs. So we're going to try and pick... Um, I have uh, a bunch of factory planets already on this character, so... Um, we're just going to choose one that we already have, like, available. So this will be a, I don't know, a Terran planet. So, yay. We don't care about scanning it, because we're not going to be actually extracting anything from the planet. So we'll just choose a nice place to park it. Let's put it here. This looks like, I don't know, South Korea, maybe? I don't know, whatever. So we'll put it in North Korea, because we're that level. Yay. So, put it on this guy. Submit. So, and then we're going to upgrade. Um, all of my factory characters have the same statistics as my extractor characters. So that's 4-4 four, four and like 2, I think, for scanning. But it's not really important. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, make some places to land our P1 uh, material coming from our extractors. Uh, they are the other extractor planets. Um, I like to use launch pads over storage things because it's uh, easier and it's all about making this easy and more passive and less clicky as possible. So that's what we'll do. Uh, the size of the planet kind of matters in this, because uh, if it's a super small planet, you can get up to 17 uh, advanced factories. Um, so, um, smaller better. Bigger, not so much. So we'll try and get to 17. If we can't do 17, we'll do 16 and call it a day because it doesn't really matter. We're going for quantity over uh, quality. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to put some uh, advanced guys. So we're going to try and get this up to uh, 16 or 17. So the trick really is to try and put them uh, clustered around uh, the places that they're feeding from to try and reduce the amount of links uh, that each of the materials has to uh, travel from. So, it's a really bad place for that, but who cares? We can just delete it. Goodbye. Go away. Ta-da. Alright. So, we're going to put some more on here, and I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I frankly don't care, because uh, I hate setting this up. I do like the output, which is massive amounts of monies, at very little time. So, what do we add here? We got uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're at 15. Let's see if we can get a couple more here. Um, uh, we'll put this guy over here. Sure, we'll put it make like 3 deep to where it's going to have to come from. Uh, let's start with the uh, links, let's see if we can get some links going here. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible try and keep up, those of you watching at home. The smaller the planet, uh, the shorter these links will be, and the more extra power you have for additional advanced processors. I wish I could set this to music so this wasn't so boring. I guess you can just listen to my... Uh, Clever wit. That might be too long on that one, we'll see. You can always change it later, because we're kind of still in the edit mode and we haven't submitted anything. The price now is 7 million ISK. So, looks like we're good. Everybody's connected? Yep. Everything's great. Alright, now we're going to tell them all that coolant. This is where it's going to tell us if we're going too far. So this will be our little dumping ground. A 
go down the line, create all the coolant, install, oops. I don't think I really need to go slow for you guys because it's it's pretty apparent what I'm doing here. and every one of these things to make coolant. I'm trying to be as orderly and as quick as possible. say that PI is a click fest, they are absolutely correct. But you only really have to do it once per planet, of course. So all of these guys are going to be going to here. belong to me. I like PI because it's so simple once it's done. And I think I have to touch this this particular planet maybe every three days, which is good, because I hate, I hate messing with it. Um, the way that you set it up too, if you forget about it, you don't have to worry about wasted material, so all the material stays um, viable, it's not going to go away. It just matters how often I want to come mess with it, and if I want to come get monies. Done. Alright, so all of these guys are making coolant. I just now need to feed them things. And since there isn't any extraction going on, I actually have to put material in it before I can set up the route. The route will stay there no matter if it has material or not, but you can't set it up without material in it. So I'm going to pause the video, go run material over to it, um, and then uh, we'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Um, so what I've already done is I've gone to the planet and I've already filled up the POCO with materials. Um, I'm going to go there with a second trip uh, just so it's uh, easier on everybody. Um, and we'll go here in just a second. So we're going to start with, I don't know why, but I always put my water on the left side. So that's what we'll do. There's our water. We've already deposited 45,000 to it. It can only hold 26, which is okay by me. Um, I don't need to put this here, so let's call that a day. Uh, and then we're going to put in our second trip there. So once you click on the little launch pad, it's difficult to tell which launch pad is which. It tells it's there at the top of it, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we're going to go with that. And both of them are full. There's still some left over in our POCO, but that's all right. We'll take care of that in just a minute. Since these little storage guys cannot actually launch stuff back and forth, we have to move it manually, so it takes just a minute. So we will do an expedited transfer. Click on over here, and we're going to move it. So we've transferred left over here. You can tell that the storage facility holds a little bit more than the other one does. That's okay. Don't care all about being lazy and making massive money. So we're moving the water over. So here we are, we got water over. Now let's move down the remainder. So we have two things full of them. So we still have water on the left. Alright, water, water, 
see up here on the top. And then we have uh, that stuff on there, yeah, right, the electrolytes. We transfer it down. All right. So we have quite a bit of materials to be processed. So we could fill this up a little bit more and make another return trip for the sake of the video and everyone's sanity. I'm going to try not to do that. So now we just need to send each of these there. So the funny thing is hey, we could wake up. split it up. Um, we could split it up into two different things. But we're not going to right now. So we could go like half of these going to here, or we can go half of these going to here. I am not going to do it that way, so we're just going to set it up like this. So here we have the materials. We're going to create a bunch of routes. And this is the part that is absolutely maddening. All of these guys are going to get water. All of them. So each of these little storage guys will remember their routes that you set up if they have stuff or not. And if you uh, do it to two of them, no big deal. It won't waste anything. It just... Uh, redundancy. You guys all keeping up with what I'm doing here, sending the exact same thing over and over again to all of them, because all of them require water. Because we're making the exact same thing on each of the advanced. Alright, now let's go do it again with the launch pad. Since we're using both the launch pad and the storage facility as intermediaries, we're going to do it all over again. The reason why we do this is because if one of the storage things runs out, the other one will take over. Clever, huh? It just requires a massive amount of clicking. I wish I could like speed this up or something, but this is how long it takes, and if I have to sit through it, damn it, you have to sit through it. Sometimes you end up missing it, and you'll see it later on when you check your thing. Uh, you go in there and you pick up your stuff or make your drop-offs. You'll be like, oh, I totally missed those, and some of them are running dry. You can fix it then. Submit. Done. All the water is complete. Next. Isotopes. Or electrolytes, excuse me. Create the line. And we just do it again for all the, ice the electrolytes. And this is how you make a factory planet go. And I have to check this every three days for all of its uh, coolant that it will be making. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute on another planet. I don't know if CCP intended it to be this dumb, but it is. So, yes, thank you. The fact that I can't do it more than once and, like, click and drag them or something makes this interface super stupid. a shift drag. That'd be great. Maybe that'll come out in the next expansion. Or maybe it'd be a skill. How not to make the game currently more lame with a skill. Alright. Submit. Boom. All of them started. Now, last one. 
straight route. Click almost done, guys. Thank you for everyone that watches the video. Maybe you guys learned something. Maybe I've just flooded the uh, PI market with coolant because everybody will be like, oh, look at this awesome way of doing it. And then I won't make any money and I'll be self-defeating. But the reason why I like PI so much is because it doesn't take massive amounts of red cross shooting. Um, it's pretty passive so that I can spend the rest of my time uh, looking for targets, people to kill, people to murder. Um, and I don't have to do much of PI, P, uh, PVE. Although I think with capital escalations of what they are, I could probably end up doing like three capital escalations and completely not even need to do any of this, but nah. Done. And just like that, your extractor planet is uh, more, so we can actually top these guys off if I really wanted to. I could fly over there and put some more electrolytes in it, um, which I guess I could do, but nah.